The Jehovah's Witnesses have been exposed in Hawaii and a judge has awarded a victim of CSA $40 million. Let's talk about it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Monica and for those returning, welcome back. Guys, today my energy is a little bit low. I think I'm suffering from a heat stroke. It's super hot right now in Pretoria, where I'm based. But the fighting, the activism continues. As soon as I saw this article, I was like, I am saving this article for my community. We have to go through it together. Let's read it. And at the end, I'm definitely going to share my opinion or my response. So the victim in a child SA lawsuit in Hawaii was awarded $40 million dollars in a settlement this article is from july 2023 a circuit court awarded the plaintiff known only as nd a total of 40 million dollars in damages in connection with nd's claims that the defendant kenneth l apana did this and this to her in 1992 when she was just 12 years old hmm. i wanted to give my opinion but let's keep going Apana was an elder in the Jehovah's Witness Church at the time he is aid the plaintiff. Court findings have shown that the abuse took place during sleepovers at Apana's house. The lawsuit was filed in 2020 against defendants Apana and the Makaha, wow, the Makaha Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses, along with other entities associated with the Jehovah's Witnesses Church. She's had a very devastating impact from the abuse that occurred in this case. The case was initially against the Jehovah's Witnesses and that part of the case settled, but we also named the person accused of her who admitted to many of the facts the court mentioned. The court mentioned. The victim's lawyer, Mark Davis, told KITV4, which is where this article is from, I think. The court reports that Apana did this to minor girls for at least 23 years. A spokesperson with the Jehovah's Witnesses issued the following statement to KITV4 about the settlement. Oh, these responses from the Jehovah's Witnesses always kill me, always take me out because there's never accountability, never like responsibility, never. I have not even read it, but I, I have a suspicion that no accountability or responsibility will be taken. Let's read it. Out of respect for the privacy of all involved, we do not comment on the specific allegations involving victims of abuse. However, we note that the judgment was against Mr. Apana, the person who perpetrated the abuse. Jehovah's Witnesses condemn the repugnant actions of anyone who victimizes children. Further, elders in our faith comply with the reporting laws do not discourage victims or their families from reporting abuse to the police. It's, it's that last sentence and how telling it is. Now, let's quickly just go back to the top of this article. And why I really wanted to read this article with you guys is that some of us here have actually gone through this experience and you might feel discouraged from speaking out because it happened so long ago. And I hope this article can actually encourage you because this man did all of these horrendous things from 1992 and probably before who knows but this case was brought against the Jehovah's, the Jehovah's Witnesses and the perpetrator in 2020 decades later so if this has happened to you and you might have needed just some form of courage some form of motivation to speak up i hope this is it people are really listening and we want to hear your story you don't have to share your name of course but for the sake of yourself if this is the journey or the route you do want to take and you just need and you just need encouragement this article is there for you just to show you that there are people who care there are people who actually listen when i saw that apana was an elder and this abuse took place during sleepovers at his house it just reminded me of the court case or the investigation currently taking place in japan of the jehovah's witnesses for these things and how the article emphasized and showed that most abuse that happens is actually between members in the same congregation so someone who's likely to harm you your child is someone who's in your congregation this man apana was basically 
abusing children for over 23 years in the Jehovah's Witness religion. And the response that this organization gave is just like, what are you actually what are you actually saying like what are you actually saying here because again no responsibility is being taken and at the end you are basically washing your hands by saying oh no we comply we tell our elders to comply with the laws when you know you don't when you actually know you don't and you say you do not discourage victims or their families from reporting abuse to the police what an outright lie because why was this person disfellowshipped for speaking out why like this religion is honestly so disgusting and it being exposed like this honestly is just what it truly deserves and i hope it continues to lose more and more money and one thing i want to actually note here before i close off someone actually mentioned this in one of my videos in the comments saying that the jehovah's witnesses we must remember they are a corporation they own multiple entities so if anyone wants to step forward and press charges remember that they are a corporation with multiple entities so if you're going to sue them sue them and all the entities if that's possible I'm not a lawyer, but those who do understand law maybe can say or can just give advice in the comment section. But definitely sue all of the entities because this person went that route. And I'm wondering, did that maybe actually help in them being able to get a settlement as well? And yes, money cannot, you know, take away the pain someone has gone through. It can never erase what has been done. However, it can cripple the Jehovah's Witnesses. You getting that settlement is money out of their pockets. It's money out of a corrupt organization that is refusing to change or transform or completely just close its doors. It wants to continue exploiting people over and over. So if you do decide to press charges, I definitely do advise you to sue them and the entities as well to make sure you get a good chunk of money out of all of this and, and i hope this article is just a reminder to everyone out there that your story matters your experience matters and there are people out there who listen every time i do research on the jehovah's witnesses and i read articles i realize how they go out of their way to discredit us as people who are apostates because we speak out against the religion and so many people have been fooled along with their members who just want to do good who just want to look out for people and allow them of course to practice their religion without persecution because countries are really now standing up against the jehovah's witnesses they're really being investigated in a lot of countries and being looked and being looked into so a lot of people are thinking they're doing good by by speaking out in support of the jehovah's witnesses and saying that they are an organization or religious organization that is not problematic and people should leave them alone and the thing is we don't necessarily have an issue with people worshiping god or you know practicing their religion this religion specifically is dangerous because it exploits people it puts people in danger and then they don't allow for people to even speak up or go to the authorities they endanger people's actual lives by interpreting bible verses in a certain way to make people feel like okay this is a special organization you know cult behavior so that's why we warn people against this religion not because of we are fighting against people's faith but we are calling out the dangers of this specific religion that also has all of the qualities of a cult like when you list down all of the qualities of a cult the jehovah's witnesses fit into every characteristic here and it blows my mind how some people who are journalists who are people who are educated still defend the jehovah's witnesses because if you defend them one thing i know for sure you have not done your research anyways i want to thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one